Hello, my name is Daniel Shin, and welcome to Discussion with the Dean on Christianity and Law. So Dean, I'm really excited about this semester because I think it's a great follow-up to what you've been doing all of first semester, which is introducing Christ's uh, version of legal argumentation and legal counseling and how he does that throughout his lifetime. And clearly now as we go through the next phase of the New Testament, it seems that the focus will be on Paul's legal argumentations and counseling. So could you introduce to us a little bit about what we can expect in the following few lectures that you'll do uh, this coming semester? Sure. Uh, so, you know, the two real basic themes, both of which I think are, are striking for Christian lawyers. Uh, the first is we just don't pay attention to the fact that Jesus, and for this semester we'll be talking about Paul, they do the things that, that we do. They, they look at a, a law, they look at a text of a law, and they argue about what it means. Uh, sometimes they're arguing against another person, and sometimes they're counseling someone. Sometimes they're, they're, they have somebody, like we have clients who come to us, they have somebody who's come to them and said, uh, what should I do? What does this, this mean? And they, they counsel. And the, we need to realize we have models, examples, paradigms in Jesus and Paul, we're doing exactly what we're doing for two reasons, so that we can imitate them and also so that we can realize how significant, how, how great, what an opportunity we have in, in doing these, these kinds, of, kinds of things. Uh, so that's the first thing, very basic. Uh, the second thing is, how do they do it? And um, we, we talked a lot last semester about how, how Jesus is constantly able to, to draw people back to God. Mm -hmm. uh, he's constantly, even when he's not talking about God, centered on God in a way that enables him to avoid the distractions and fallacies of, of people's arguments. Um, today in the, in the lecture, I talked a little bit about uh, Paul's very explicit treatment of this at the beginning of uh, 1 Corinthians. And uh, Paul lays out you know, very, very uh, important and strong things where where he wants to say, yeah, I came to you, I preached. And in other white places, he says, I'm trying to persuade people. I'm arguing with people, but I do it in a way that relies on God's power. And, and I think that's a good way of describing the semester. We want to figure out while he's arguing, while he's persuading, how is it that, that Paul does it in a way where he can say, but I wasn't relying on man's wisdom about words. I was relying on God's power. And I, 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 preparing for this, this series, I'm just very excited about, about what, what that will, will, will look like. So uh, are there some particular themes that we can expect throughout this semester that Paul specifically addresses throughout his uh, letters to the different churches? Yes. Um, I mean, one way of thinking about what, what Paul is, is doing is Paul knows that, that Jesus Christ is uh, the, 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 the right measure of everything. He, he knows that the, the cross is uh, the wisdom that has been given to us about the world. And one of the things that we'll be saying, even when he doesn't mention the word Jesus or cross, how he is pressing through everything that he's arguing about in, in a way that draws the mind to the cross and to Jesus Christ. How he's able, much as we have to do, to take his, his measure from Jesus, sometimes even when we're not talking about Jesus. Uh, so that's a very important thing. Um, another important thing that, that he's doing is he's talking about the nature of, of man. And he's, he's going to talk about how man has a very problematic relationship to the law. Mm. The Romans 7 is a famous example of this, that, that although the, the law is good, um, also... It's through the law that I become sinful. And uh, I find myself knowing the law more and more, more and more unable to follow the law. And so he has a, a very rich a view of, of the nature of man in relationship to law uh, that he uses when he's counseling people. And uh, an important part of what we're going to do this semester is, is gain a sense of that so that we can understand the examples he gives us of legal argumentation. 
Well, I'm really looking forward to the series. So if you are also uh, excited to hear about Dean Enloe's um, lectures on Christianity and law, especially Paul's argumentations, please continue to follow us on YouTube and look forward to the lectures ahead. So uh, I'm excited, Dean. Thank you. Thank you.